who bought all that no one has ever bought anything before so this is surprising so you know what i'm gonna do in celebration of this have a sale five dollars off on every single item that you see whether it comes to the hoodies whether it comes to the notebook whether it comes down to the shirts everything is off by five dollars use the promo code jsx4 to honestly get you something nice and if you decide to buy something show me on twitter i want to see use the hashtag x4 gear and see what kind of things that y'all been buying but if you're interested to buy anything please use the description down below where you find the link or better yet go to the store section of the channel and go ahead and see what we got over there you are enough is probably the biggest most single-handedly disastrous phrase in all of fiction when it comes to writing because with that being the case that just means that you're basically good the way you are and even though you're absolutely garbage at what you do that's still perfectly fine and you should be okay with that while the message isn't necessarily the worst damn thing out there but in modern times of different writings being good enough is not good enough to be perfectly honest, when people be saying that, especially when it comes to female characters, how they are strong, how they are supposed to be this inspirational person among other women characters who don't need another man up by their side, who could be independent and stuff like that, what we normally get is just bland, boring ass characters, and then at the end of the day, you are enough is all they ever really needed to give them this stupid ass superpower to do what they need to do. It's what you see in Ruby, it's what you see in a lot of Disney movies when it comes to marvel and shit it's what you see a lot of times when it comes to just fictional characters in general they are basically the over the top best type of characters because they're women no other reason there is no other reason even when the show sometimes provides you with a reason they do it so bad to the point again it goes back to the fact that they're women that's what their whole thing is and the crazy thing is, they be having all these traits of trying to be independent, be stronger, and know how to fight and all this type of stuff. And it's just like, wait, ain't this the same traits y'all said y'all don't like in guys though? So why are y'all trying to pretend to be men? That doesn't necessarily make any kind of sense. Crazy thing is too, not every female character has to be like this. They just don't. In some cases, they can be weak as shit. They can be the damsel in distress. They can just be the person that causes a lot of problems to happen in the first damn place and then slowly have to struggle through things and maybe at the end of things get stronger. And that's the way things should be. But everything is so, let's give them this power right now. Let's get them to figure things out instantly. And that's always been a bad call. Not because they can't get everything instantly, because there's characters that can, and they still do struggling moments, but still when it comes to a lot of Western writing, a lot of it is just, they get the power, they are never wrong, and that's essentially it. But then you got characters who are powerful, like, you know, Madaka, who also is doing like all the perfect shit in the world and, you know, being super good and intelligent. But when it comes to common sense, like amusement parks, aquariums, baseball, she doesn't know anything of that stuff. She doesn't know how to play any of those games or do any of those things or go to any of those places because she doesn't have that knowledge. Hell, she didn't even know what she wanted herself for a long time time outside of just making other people happy it literally took her homeboy Zenkichi to come through and basically tell her you gotta figure out what makes you happy and that's what mattered most of all and that's fine right again they all had the tools of what they need to do and what they wanted to do but still that doesn't necessarily make them a good character overall they still have things that they need to work out issues that need to be sorted and that's what makes them better when it comes to the story going forward but nowadays all you really need for a female character is them to be independent don't need no man and be gay and just have that across the screen in your face constantly telling you that they're gay that's what they are and they're strong about that which unnecessary but when it comes down to things that's why i like writing my own damn story honestly because it's full of women in it and they are at least when it comes to the original characters weak as shit right here's the fun thing too i gave him the most busted ass abilities i could think of in the most busted ass ways i could think of when it comes down to things they are not necessarily you know strong when it comes to using those abilities even though the abilities is fine by itself anybody can use it and be fine but with their own mental states of how they are 
they're not necessarily the strongest at all. Like Blue, for example, she has the power of reject and release. Literally reject anything that she wants to, release anything she wants to. Reject reality itself and go to a different reality, she can do that. Release any type of pain from her body, maybe that she got cut up from, or maybe re release any type of poison away from her body, that she can do that, honestly. Or maybe even Symphony, who honestly has the power of biologics, which is basically anything that is alive or considered to be alive can be changed and altered. Like maybe she needs to buff herself up in a fight, so she changed her body to basically be stronger or honestly know how to dish out some hits and stuff like that. Or maybe she transferred grass and turned it into a cat, you know? You have a lot of shit of what they can do and they're the most busted ass things ever. But when it comes to the person inside, that's what making them weak. Again, when it comes to their abilities, it comes down to their willpower and their belief. And if they don't necessarily believe in themselves, how can they pull off such fantastical feats? Shoko is possibly the best example of get your ass kicked a lot and still don't necessarily know how to get about this stuff. She says she's indomitable, she says she has all this strength and can't be beaten, yet every time I make a match with her versus somebody else, she gets her ass beat every single time. Not because her power is trash, but it's because she can't be doing anything herself in her mental mindset. She doesn't believe in herself truthfully. She doesn't necessarily know what is exactly making her be this way. And that's the whole problem with Shoko. That's what she needs to figure out, honestly. Now, unlike Yukari, her sister, she also had things that she needed to solve, but she ended up solving it at the end of all things, or at least very close to the finale of all that stuff. When it comes down to things, she literally basically saw her mother get used and killed, took that anger that she had against her mother's death to use it against the people of the slums of her original world, basically became a villain when we first really met her, then after joining the party of Jay and his crew, ends up trying to, you know, find her place with the party but not necessarily knowing exactly where she should be, getting kidnapped by Yang, essentially trying to figure out what she really wants to be, and her mother is the one that tells her how things should be and how things are okay, and when it comes down to things, even Jay has to be like the one to try to, you know, be there for her in some shape and form, and with all that being culminating together, she ends up actually, you know, helping out and honestly knowing what she wants to somewhat do, honestly. Having at least a better mindset of where she wants to be. What makes them strong isn't just their own resolve. What makes them strong is just the fact that they also have people around them to help them be strong. In case you haven't noticed, and honestly I didn't notice until I made this video, but Jay and the girls kind of feed off each other. Jay has to basically be around the girls to kind of understand how things kind of is when it comes to people and his newfound powers, essentially, right? Jay is the type of person that doesn't necessarily be around people, obviously, when it comes to his real life self, and or at least his before the isekai life and when it comes down to things he has to basically try to learn how to be around people and understand how people kind of operate and see what they need the most it's the reason why instead of killing junko he ended up saving junko instead because maybe we should just talk about how things are and why you are the way you are and things like that and he would not have known how to do that if he didn't spend time with Blue and Shoko and learning their stories. Same way vice versa. If it comes down to Blue and Shoko and Yukari and the others, they wouldn't necessarily be in exact good position if it wasn't for Jay trying to, you know, be around them. Even if it's for some smashing reasons at times, still nonetheless, they do take, he does listen to them truthfully and try to help them out anytime that they can, anytime he can. And that's the whole point. You need people around you sometimes to learn how to be better. You can't just be better on your own and think that's fine. That's just not how that works. It's the reason why I hate that last part of Volume 9 and Ruby, where basically Ruby is just like, oh, I'm okay the way I am, but not really. If honestly Summer Rose came through and honestly just took over Ruby for a minute or at least even just did something more with Ruby, I could vibe and buy that Ruby actually did some good here or at least accomplished the demon and beat that shit, right? I can honestly get that, but without that, it just makes it lacking. I didn't like that decision so much in fact 
that's the point i made them put, get put into my own series so they can have a fresh start so they can try again because in that series at least they know that they've been effing up they know that they're not necessarily the most in the right type of character and why they end up forgetting their memories is because they want to actually try to do something different this time try to be something better than what team ruby originally was for my girls they aren't necessarily the most strongest characters they might got the most strongest abilities ever but that doesn't necessarily mean that they believe in themselves to use that ability that they have the willpower to use said ability that even if someone else's will challenge theirs that they could still win they don't believe that which is why they have to go on this route of struggle it's the reason why shoko keep getting her ass beat constantly there will be a time a time very soon where shoko will show that you know she can actually do things that she can actually win a fight there will be times but when it comes down to things as it stands they have to kind of figure things out and they can't do that by themselves it's the reason why they all are here in the safe haven they have to kind of be around each other with jay to help him out with his problems but not just him but also help each other out all together that's the point it's about togetherness when it comes to that group of people and that's essentially it some of my girls are murderers some of my girls don't necessarily know what they want to do and some of my girls want to be stronger than what they are but they just can't at the moment for some reason and that's okay struggle and suffering is a part of literal life if you do not have that then can you say that you really live at all when i made these characters and wrote this damn story i didn't come here to for the only intention to make these girls sexy to make them basically be powerful and just wipe the floor with any enemy that's not what i came through with at all i came through with an agenda in mind to basically make them weak as shit at their time of need sometimes or just make them weak shit overall mentally and then try to build them up as the story kind of continues and just because they might have their own personal demons that they are rocking with since their original worlds that doesn't necessarily mean that's the only thing that's bothering them there's countless of trials and countless of fights that they have to put up with and the main important thing of all of it is that they keep getting up and keep trying even though shoka might get her ass beat constantly that doesn't necessarily mean she should just give up or commit slip and slide that just means that she needs to get up try again and see what works that's essentially what it is when it comes down to things they're not good enough they're not strong-willed but they must learn to be that way if we got to use a real life example let's use myself i've been trying to work on this channel for almost four years at this point still trying to suffer through with everything that's going on literally facing a whole house foreclosure and everything like literally things has never been lower than they ever has been at this moment for me but do you see me trying to give up honestly do you see me basically giving in on all this despair that's around us no i'm still trying to fight i'm still trying to get my place and at the end of things i won't stop until i get exactly what it is that i want and that's essentially how it goes honestly you might not necessarily be the most strongest person you might not necessarily know everything you might not necessarily even have the strongest will but you can learn to be that way you can learn to be better and that's the whole point what you are right now is not necessarily good enough what you need to do is learn from other people learn for yourself and basically better yourself to be yourself better in a brighter tomorrow that's essentially what the whole goal is so the next time you see a show that's trying to write a woman that is basically trying to be strong and righteous and empowered and you know at the same time still being captured or trying to be independent but also shaking their ass because they think they go on hard and you know that's the right thing to do and make them look better but really all the thing they're doing is just making my dick hard because that's the only thing you're showing me that you're good for when it comes down to things don't make them like that make them in a way where they are relatable to the audience or at the very most make them in a way where they are suffering through their lives or basically going through a struggle and don't instantly solve the problem but let them kind of cope with it deal with it see how they kind of turn out in the end and that's how it should be but a lot of Hollywood don't necessarily get that. But anyway, that's essentially what I have for you for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on your way out. Also follow me on the socials. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, Patreon is available as well. And until then, it's your boy Jay, signing off. Have a blessed day.